Hello and welcome to Otson Bundesliga match day 33 and we still don't have a champion in Germany. Perhaps this is the final weekend. Radek Vegas, how are you? Hi Eduardo, nice to be back and we have the second last game day and I am very curious if the Bayerns can beat Leipzig and maybe be champion in the pre-last game. What a match day. Bayern Munich, Leipzig and Augsburg. Borussia Dortmund is odd, in my opinion, that they don't play at the same time. This is the penultimate match day, but these are Bundesliga rules. So let's analyze all the games with Rade Vegas with you guys. Remember to leave your comments as always. And don't forget, eh? press the like and subscribe. And now let's go on with the show. And we are talking about the fight for the title, but there are a lot on stake in this match day in the Bundesliga. For instance, on Friday, we have freiburg Wolfsburg, really important for the European spots. It looks like Freiburg, they are going to miss playing in the Champions League, three points away now from Union Berlin. They lost to Union Berlin at the weekend. So they will play almost for sure Europa League, whereas uh, Wolfsburg, Radek, they are still uh, fighting also for European spots. Now they are seventh after beating Hoffenheim. Six. Yeah, and they came six. back from a disastrous loss against Borussia Dortmund where they got six goals and then they were able to win their home game. On the other hand, Freiburg lost two games in a row against competitors uh, for the Champions League spots with uh, 1-0 against Leipzig and now 4-2 against Union Berlin. And they scored their two goals very late in the game. So when the game al already was decided, uh, Freiburg decided to come back and score two goals. Then uh, it was... Yeah, 3-2 for Union Berlin, so it, there was a chance that Freiburg even can equalize, but at the end Union Berlin made a brilliant home appearance and now it seems that uh, the four Champions League spots are gone and uh, for Freiburg the best they can achieve is uh, this position number five where they are now. On the other hand, Wolfsburg, um, yeah, also needs some points in the last games to... Mm, yeah, be on at least spot seven because spot seven should be enough for the Champions League and uh, for the Europe League. And uh, yeah, so I think they. They can take a point at Freiburg. I think um, Wolfsburg is too good. And on the other hand, that's why I think uh, we won't see a winner here. Mm -hmm. Remember that Wolfsburg, they are very good when they are playing away and, 20. Um, they are Freiburg, but I would say Asian Handicap plus 0.25 on Wolfsburg, as they also are, yeah, not bad and fighting for some points. I would say 1.9 or around are the odds for Wolfsburg there. Okay, Wolfsburg, a very strong team. Eh? When they are playing away, actually, they are the third best team when they play away in this Bundesliga. For the relegation battle on Saturday, we have an important game, Erta Bochum. It could be the weekend where Erta gets relegated. They have to win or win. And uh, Bochum, they are now one point uh, above uh, Schalke outside of the relegation spots, thanks to that victory against Augsburg. Yeah, really important. Um, but also Hertha missed their chances to yeah, collect some points when they were on a kind of a better streak. Now they lost again and it was kind of, yeah, we're giving up five goals against Cologne at Cologne. Against a team like Cologne, who's not playing for uh, anything because they can't go much up and much down. And on the other hand, Hertha was not able to, yeah, to compete with them. So uh, the difference to the relegation spot 16 is too big for Hertha. So even in this la uh, game, if they would win this game, they were, uh, yeah, two or th no, three points behind Bochum and uh, also Schalke and Stuttgart have kind of easier games maybe. But
But I, I don't believe that we made too bad in this game because this is really, uh, 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 yeah, a game which lives from the tension and that Hertha is a favorite here with odds of 2.2 makes no sense. But do you want to bet on Bochum, which is also highly in danger and doesn't get really big odds with 3.2? Uh, very hard to say. And in the last two game days especially, there can be a lot of crazy things. There can be a lot of goals. There might uh, yeah, be really bad odds for that, as the bookies also expected. And so it's it's really yeah, no option to bet on such games, which are yeah just random. And at the end, I I think um, it's also a draw because the the odds for a draw are three point seven five. That is at least mathematically cor the correct thing to bet on because the odds are the highest there. Okay, key game, this one for the relegation, Erta Bochum, perhaps we see Erta in Bundesliga 2 on Saturday and also in danger to get relegated, uh, Hoffenheim, only two points above uh, Schalke, so uh, still in danger playing against Union Berlin and I am... Uh, um, shocked, uh, Radek, or surprised, because Hoffenheim, they are the favorites to win this game, 2.6. Of course, they are playing for the salvation, but also Union Berlin, as we know, they are playing to stay in the Champions League spots. Yes, and they were beating Freiburg, as we said, and we would have uh, a curious situation uh, as one club in Berlin is going to the second league and the other club is going to the Champions League. But not the club who was expected to, because options to reach international spots and at the end they go down to second league and the, the small club from the capital Berlin is going to the Champions League, which is a kind of a, really a Cinderella story. And in this game, I, yeah, I see no reason to bet um, not on Union Berlin as they had, uh, uh, yeah, so many good games in the season and why should they stop now the game day uh, against freiburg this was really important for them to win and now they yeah they can be a bit relaxed and for hoffenheim i don't see a, a real danger anymore because uh, the other teams are, are yeah not not that good to collect some points i think and hoffenheim yeah, needs one point in two games. That's why I think they, yeah, are not into um, winning this game. And the odds are really high on Union Berlin, as you said. That's why uh, Asian Handicap Zero on Union Berlin has odds of 2.0. And yeah, that is really, really good for a Champions League team playing against a in danger relegation team. Mm -hmm. Well, another uh, in danger relegation team is uh, Schalke playing against uh, Frankfurt in and the play out spots. Uh, Schalke, despite the defeat, 6 0 against Bayern, but uh, they were able to win the last two home games against Werder Bremen and Erta, and they must win this one, Radek, because the last one is in Leipzig with Frankfurt uh, finally winning in the Bundesliga in the previous match day against Mainz. But their game is the cup final. More focus in that game against Leipzig than, I guess, in this game against Schalke. Yes, that is the only hope for Schalke not to be relegated as uh, they really have a tough last game there against Leipzig where it's almost yeah, impossible in a normal game day for Schalke to make some points as they are um, yeah, really a bad away team. And... On the other hand, they collected 19 out of their 30 points at home. And maybe they yeah, can benefit from a really bad uh, streak of Frankfurt, especially away. Frankfurt was not able to make points for a long distance in the Bundesliga. The last victory 
of Frankfurt away was um, in the Bundesliga in November fifth, uh, two thousand twenty-two at Augsburg. So before the World Cup, really, really bad uh, away streak of Frankfurt losing the last uh, four away games, and that's what is the the hope for Schalke that they yeah can keep at least one point at home and that they are able to compete with uh, teams in the middle field like Frankfurt. Uh, yes, they showed it against um, uh, the teams they played in their last home games. And so I have a little bit hope for Schalke uh, more than for Hertha, that if they can yeah, show a good and their best performance in this season, they can also beat Frankfurt in this game. But uh, to be honest, in kind of bets when when it comes to placing money on it, which I won't recommend in the last two game days uh, on most of the games and also not on this. I would say the odds are, uh, yeah, a bit too attractive for Frankfurt. And I would say Asian Handicap minus 0.25 on Frankfurt with odds of 2.0 is a bit... The better option, because if there's a draw, we lose the half of our bet. And at the end, yeah, depends on you if you trust Schalke. And I I really don't too much, but uh, I hope, I just hope, I wish them the best, uh, but I won't bet on this game. I hope also for the best about Schalke. They are playing the last two games against the two finalists in the cup. And uh, hopefully they are more focused in this uh, cup final that in the Bundesliga and Schalke, they need to win this one. Nothing to play for in the next one, Werder Bremen, Cologne, and this reflects in the odds. Uh, the victory for Werder Bremen or Cologne pays exactly the same, uh, but Cologne arrived to this game in a better form. Radek, three victories in the last four games. Werder Bremen lost the last three. On the other hand, perhaps Werder Bremen want a vendetta. If you remember what happened in the first game this season between these two teams, Cologne won 7-1. Yeah, this was the first game after the World Cup and uh, Bremen seemed to just make holiday during this time and that's why Cologne totally uh, beat them up with 7-1. And... Yeah, it makes sense that the, the odds are kind of balanced. If you have a look at the last results of Werder, they lost against Bayern and and Leipzig, but they only lost with one goal behind, which is uh, a sign that they are really, really um, competitive at uh, this stage of the season. And uh, you don't have to forget that they were missing their top scorer, Füllkrug, uh, almost the last uh, important games and they even were able to score goals against these teams. And that's why I think um, we can just enjoy the game with a, a, a lot of goals. One option can be over three goals with odds of 1.9, but I won't recommend this because uh, three goals um, yeah, is still a high amount and the odds for that are really not great. And at the end, you only get your money back if there are exactly three goals. So not much to win. But as you said, the odds are balanced and everyone expects a draw here. As uh, I would say, as you said, that Cologne had the better form during the last games. And additionally, Werder Bremen is uh, the worst home team. I would say there's kind of a bit more value that Cologne might end up as a winner in this game. And that's why Asian Handicap Zero on Cologne pays 1.8, 1.9. And I would say I prefer this a bit. Uh, and I can understand everyone who says, yeah, the home advantage is really strong in the Bundesliga, as we've seen eight winners at home last game day. Uh, this can be a point to bet on Werder Bremen Asian Handicap Zero. At the end, uh, yeah, it's just a coin flip. And I would say, I, I would say the, the better form was for Cologne, but uh, still far away to um, put money on it. 
Ok, and the last game we have on Saturday, the game of the games, Bayern Munich, Leipzig, uh, Bayern three victories in a row. I guess all Dortmund fans are just uh, supporting Leipzig. For this one, Leipzig, they come also in a good streak. They will play Champions League next season for consecutive victories in all competitions. But, Radek, the reality is that uh, in these kind of games, it's very difficult to see Bayern Munich dropping points and letting the title slipping away from their fingers. Yeah, that's a good point because Bayern Munich only lost against teams where you didn't expect it. They, at the end, had only four losses in the season, what is not really much as uh, you compare it with the reception the audience and the media has. Uh, it, it was one of the uh, catastrophic seasons of Bayern Munich and uh, only four teams were able to beat them, uh, which were Augsburg. Uh, Gladbach, Leverkusen, and uh, someone else I don't remember. <laughs> But as, uh, that's not really uh, a top team in, in them, uh, beside maybe Leverkusen. Uh, and also Freiburg won against them, I, uh, I think. But um, yeah, so against uh, teams like Dortmund uh, Bayern is mostly uh, unbeatable as uh, also against Leipzig they have a really really good record within the last 12 games Bayern only lost one game against Leipzig so it seems the best thing Leipzig can hope in this game is a draw i would say they are not 100% into uh, this game as You said they're playing the cup final against Frankfurt and they might also be more into this, not to be uh, hurt or uh, be injured and have their best squad against Frankfurt in the cup. And so I think uh, it, it should be a, a Bayern Munich win for sure. The odds are 1.5 for Bayern. I never bet on or almost never bet on such small odds. For favorite as Leipzig still is uh, able to make a point. Um, but what I can uh, see here is a kind of gambling. If uh, Leipzig scores the first goal and Bayern comes back and wins at the end with 3-1, uh, you get odds of 7.5 if Bayern wins from behind. And um, as the odds are so fair that we can't find a value in the regular bets, I would say this is worth a try. Well, tell me in the comment section eh, if you are back in Bayern Munich or if you think uh, Leipzig uh, have a chance to get a draw and perhaps open the door to Borussia Dortmund uh, to win the title. Uh, before analyzing the game of uh, Borussia Dortmund on Sunday, we have to stop in Mainz because we have Mainz Stuttgart almost no options for Mainz to go to Europe uh, they lost the last uh, three games so perhaps it's a good opportunity for Stuttgart to grab uh, some points uh, Radek they are very poor when they travel only nine points in the whole season away from home but right now they are in relegation spot so they need to grab at least a point here Yeah, but uh, Stuttgart also missed some points in the last games. They lost uh, an important game against Hertha. And now they got the point at home against Leverkusen, which was great. But still re really, really doubtful if Stuttgart uh, can yeah, hold the class because they, all, they also have uh, this tough game against Mainz. And that Mainz didn't win a game since they won against Bayern Munich. Uh, I forgot that Mainz was the, uh, a team that won against Bayern Munich also. 3-1 three, uh, three at home. So after this, they had uh, three losses against Frankfurt, Schalke and Wolfsburg. So, yeah, for Stuttgart, it seems that they have a chance. But on the other hand, uh, Mainz really um, needs the points to maybe have the last chance to get to the international spots. They have 45 points and uh, yeah, Leverkusen on spot seven has 49 points. So to keep these, uh, this last hope 
um, Mainz has to win. And for that, I really like the odds uh, on Mainz here because they are around 2.6, which is really high. Uh, if you consider that uh, Stuttgart is one of the teams who uh, have uh, the one of the worst records if they're playing away. Mm. And they managed only to win one away game. So really, really attractive bet on Mainz. Asian Handicap zero here. And we got odds of 1.8 for that. Okay. Stuttgart is still fighting for their lives. Uh, remember, the last game is Hoffenheim at home. So they need to arrive alive to that game. Uh, Augsburg Dortmund is the next game with Augsburg almost safe, not mathematically, but virtually. They will stay one season more in the Bundesliga. They lost to Bochum, as we said. And the Dortmund, they have to win away, Radek, to keep the hope uh, to win the Bundesliga. Be careful if you are back in Dortmund because they blew away their options to win the Bundesliga with draws against Bochum and Stuttgart playing away. Yeah, and um, the odds on Dortmund are really bad, so no zero option to bet on Dortmund here because Dortmund... Uh, had not won any of their last six away games. Uh, they Since they lost in the Champions League against Chelsea, they lost in the league against Bayern, and they had three draws against Schalke, Stuttgart, and Bochum. And also they lost in the cup when they were playing away uh, at Leipzig. So this is really a horrible streak for a team who wants to be champion mm -hmm. playing away. Additionally, they um, had really problems within the last four games at Augsburg. They only had one victory. And we remember that Augsburg is really, really uh, uh, awesome playing at home as they were able to beat Leipzig. Bayern and Leverkusen at home. So just to make a bingo, they also can beat uh, Borussia Dortmund at home. <laughs> and I would say um, that's uh, really, really dangerous to go to, to Augsburg now for Dortmund, as also Augsburg has a really good connection to Munich and might be the team who yeah, beats Dortmund and If Bayern Munich uh, wins against Leipzig and Dortmund is not winning at Augsburg, Bayern is champion um, mm. because they are better in um, goal difference and scoring more home goals. And also in the direct games against Borussia Dortmund, Bayern won 4-2 uh, and they had a draw. So every uh, factor which comes into play, if they are, have the same amount of points, Bayern is better And the only hope for Dortmund is that Bayern is uh, giving away a point now against Leipzig or on the last game day. But uh, that seems to be not that realistic as Dortmund might give away any points uh, more because they did it in the past so often. And yeah, I really uh, think that Augsburg has a chance here. That's why betting on Augsburg... Asian Handicap plus 1.5 has odds of 1.8 or 1.9. I would say this is even better than betting on a Dortmund uh, Asian Handicap win. Mm -hmm. um, but for sure, it's always a dangerous thing to bet against a, a huge favorite like Dortmund. But we have uh, some good points, as I mentioned. And so, yeah. I'm really interested uh, in this game. Okay, key game. This one, of course, uh, let's see if we have Bundesliga fight until the last match day. For that, uh, Dortmund, they need to win against Augsburg. And we have one game left uh, on Sunday, Leverkusen-Gladbach, because Leverkusen, they have to play the Europa League semi-final second leg against Roma. That's why this game is going to be played uh, the latest one in the Bundesliga. Leverkusen is still trying to get European spots, uh, Radek, in the Bundesliga. This one can be a tricky one because they are so favorite, they will be tired after that uh, important game. But on the other hand, Gladbach, they are so poor when they travel, thrust by Dortmund, lost to Stuttgart, only one victory away in the whole season. 
Yeah, um, everything said. <laughs> the problem I see uh, the the most problem is that um, after the loss against Cologne in the league, uh, they also lost against Roma, and then they only were able to get one point at Stuttgart. So I think Leverkusen is really one hundred percent focused in the Roma game now, and if they are not. Going to the next round, I think they might be not only tired, uh, they would be also mentally a bit down. And that's why the odds on Leverkusen are um, really, really bad and no option to bet on them. On the other hand, Gladbach, yeah, really, you you don't uh, have to consider that they might win this game. Uh, as they were so poor in most of the games in the season. And recently, they also lost the last game with uh, four goals against them, or even five goals against them, uh, against Dortmund. And um, so it's uh, likely that we we see uh, a yeah, close game. And that's enough to bet on Asian Handicap uh, on Gladbach, because you get the line of plus 1.25. And mm -hmm. uh, so Gladbach also can lose, and we get uh, odds of 1.8. And I see the problems uh, on Leverkusen's side more than the weakness uh, on Gladbach's side. Well, interesting until the end. Uh, the Bundesliga this season, Radek, which one among them all is your favorite bet for this match day? Yes, I go against the trend because Mainz lost their last three games, but now they are still uh, having the chance to go to international spots and they are facing a really bad away team with Stuttgart. And that's why I think Asian Handicap Zero on Mainz with odds of 1.8 is uh, really worth a try. And I like this bet best because the last or and the pre-last game, they are really, really hard to find good uh, bets. Well, and I'm sure it's going to be hard also to find an Aka, but we will do our best, uh, Radek. Yeah, we will combine this Mainz Asian Handicap Zero with two other Asian Handicap Zero games. And uh, one is Union Berlin not losing this game um, at uh, Hoffenheim. Asian Handicap Zero has uh, odds of 2.0 for that. And also, I think Frankfurt should be able not to lose at Schalke. It seems not the the yeah the imp most impossible day, a thing, and uh, the odds for a Frankfurt Asian handicap zero at Schalke are one point seven. Altogether, uh, we we have uh, odds of again. I have to calculate it. Uh, six around, not the highest odds for me, but still three Asian handicap zero bets. So if there's one game a draw or even all games a draw, we don't lose our money. Okay, thank you, Rade. Good luck to everyone. Next week, we have our last uh, Bundesliga show of the season. Let's see if we still have a fight, a battle between Bayern and Borussia Dortmund for the title. In the meantime, don't forget, press the like and subscribe. Bye-bye.